All right, here we are. Hi there, Carrie Grant again. This time I'm working with my dog Mojo. Uh, and I wanted to work with you today on the behavior of mine and take it. How many times have you dropped something in the kitchen, something wonderful and delicious, and boom, you know, your dog's in there, that delicious morsel is gone, it's out the window. So um, it's a great tool, obviously, to be able to, when you drop something, to say mine, and reliably have your dog say, okay, it's cool, I'm not going to try and grab it. Um, it's also a foundational behavior for other things that, that you might want to teach later on. For example, drop it, leave it, uh, retrieve. All of those things are kind of variations on mine and take it, that kind of thing. You might also have heard of this, you know, leave it and take it. I just think that leave it sounds a lot like take it, so I started to use mine instead. Um, but it's, it's no big deal. Whatever works best for you. But uh, in any case, what we're going to, the, 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 the place to start with this thing is to uh, have some treats in your hand, something delicious, and uh, Mojo's taking a nap. And so what you'll do is uh, allow him to kind of mouth it, know that it's in there, something delicious is in your hand. But then the minute he looks away, you know, the minute he turns his head away a little bit, click and tr click it right at that moment so you know that's exactly what you're looking for, and then give him a treat. Several times in a row, you know, let him mouth it, let him, let him see what's going on, you know, let him sniff that you've got treats. Then the minute he looks away, click and give him a treat. Um, so that's the first place we'll start. And from there we'll begin to grow and add, you know, make it progressively a little bit trickier. Um, but for right now that's plenty to start with. Okay, if we can get Mojo up off the floor and awake, then maybe we can do a little bit of work here. Okay, Mojo, you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Up. Up, please. Good job. Okay, so I'm just going to let him, first of all, uh, mouth what's in my hand. And for right now, I have treats also in my other hand, because that's where the treats are actually going to come from. So I'm actually going to switch over my clicker right now and uh, let him kind of check out. He knows something good is in there. He's nibbling. Boom. He just turned away. So I'm going to just pull back just a little bit. So I'm going to call that good. Okay, give it back to him. He wants it. He's tasting it. Good. He looked away just a moment, pulled back a little bit, and again, good. He's doing it faster and faster, and you'll find that's what happens. They get the game real fast. Pull back, good. Okay, about this time, then, I feel like he, he's got a clue. He knows what's up. So I'm actually going to add the word. I'm going to add the cue, mine, right now. And uh, mine, good job. He knows immediately. If you've ever had an American Bulldog, you know there's a lot of slobber that flies. Don't be concerned. Mine. Good job. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mine. Good job. He's got that. So now that he has that, you know, we really don't need this clicker so much. What we could actually do now, now is add that second command of take it. And the take it is actually going to take the place of the click. So I'm going to, I'm going to offer it to him. Do you view him? Mine. Take it. And the, obviously the treat is the reward. Mine. Take it. Good job. Mine. Take it. Good job. Very good. Okay, now you're probably not going to be lucky enough in the kitchen that whatever falls lands directly in your hand. It's probably going to land on the floor. But we don't want to, oh, there he goes. But we don't want to immediately start out, you know, laying it on the floor and setting him up to possibly fail. We want to take it all in very baby steps. You always want to make sure that you're, you really want to set things up in such small increments as you start to ask for more and more and more, that he almost can't possibly miss it. And uh, in that way, he always succeeds. He always feels good. If, perchance, he breaks it, you get your hand down there, you start working to get more toward the floor, and he breaks, don't worry about it. It just means that you ask for too much too quickly. Back it up a little bit uh, and start asking for a little bit less. So for right now, we're just going to start moving, our, moving down a little bit, little bit, little bit down toward the floor. And then eventually we'll start putting the tree actually on the floor and working from there. We just don't want to go on that big step yet. Okay? So I'm going to say, mine, take it. Good job. I'm going to go a little bit lower. Mine, take it. Good job. Good job. He's still chewing. Sometimes you'll find treats get caught in his lips. I'm sure he finds them hours later. And now I'm ready to go to the floor, actually. Mine. Take it. Good job. Down to the floor. 
my ticket. Good job. Okay, I feel like he's pretty much got that down. I'm going to scoop back. I don't know if you can still see me. I'm going to scoop back a little bit because I'm going to actually put the treat on the floor. But again, I want to take things in baby steps. If I put that treat right in front of his nose, it's probably going to be too much. So I'm going to put it back a little bit so it's a little easier for him to resist and then gradually move it closer and closer. So I'm going to take this treat. I might even cover it the first time. Like mine. Take it. Nice. Good job on that. Okay, I'm going to lay it there now. Yeah, mine. Take it. Good job. Good job. And I'm going to move it a little bit closer still. Mine. Take it. That was a little close. I, I probably set him up a little bit and, and asked a little, little bit too much just then. Mine. Take it. Good job. Mine. Mine. Take it. So we've got some practice, you know, practice work from here. He still has a tendency to want to grab it when it's on the floor. And so I would probably want to move back a little bit more right now. I don't want to come out of the view of the camera. But in any case, um, just remember, you really want to ask things in, in baby, baby steps. It's a huge, uh, it's a huge thing we're asking for him in terms of self-control to wait. You can see this delicious piece of food, but whoa, I got to wait until I get the, I get the okay. That's a huge thing. And when you get to that point, um, just be really proud of him and be really proud of yourself. That's a huge accomplishment. You can feel great about that. So that's basically in a nutshell the mine and take it and uh, enjoy that and work with it and uh, see where it takes you. Hopefully the next time you drop some juicy morsel on the floor, uh, you'll have a better chance of getting there first. All right, take care. Thanks.